off here, guys. Oh, oh shoot. Hit that gate. I know we gotta get up here. What's up, Subi friends? So, maybe something a little different today? I think yes. So the Subi, nice and clean, we got that all done. And the interior done, looking good, smelling good. This camera's getting heavy already. So today we're just doing some random stuff around the house. We got our TV down. We're gonna hang up the old TV and do some garage door installation foam. I've been waiting to do that for a while. Oh, this is heavy. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm not sure what to do with this big giant thing. No idea what to do with it. But for now, I guess I'll just shove it in the corner. And I don't know. You know how that feeling is when you have a bunch of stuff and you don't know what to do with it. Do it. Oh yeah. So we got our garage door foam. We're gonna do that. But first, let's get this TV up. We were going to do this yesterday, but we ended up at the beach, which was so much fun. I think we were the only two people out there. Oh, check out Bob. All right, there you go. Check out Bob. So yeah, for right now we're going to put the old TV back up. And then pretty soon, well, I mean, I already started looking because I now want two cabinets, one here, one here, and then one in the middle. Oh, not one in the middle, put the TV in the middle. So two cabinets, one on each side, and one TV in the middle. And I might paint this wall black, this one wall flat black. I think that'd be cool. So I made a quick run over to Harbor Freight because this TV mount doesn't work with this TV. So I picked up one of these for $14. Because I put the old one that was out here inside a spare room, which is pointless because Nobody uses a spare room. I mean, it's just the two of us here, so. There's five bedrooms. There it is, Bill. Do I need any of this? Nope. Get back those screws out. The old TV that was out here before, it was blue. It was blue, and you couldn't see anything. I'd be watching like, or Outer Banks, be watching it. And I wouldn't be able to see anything. There, tight enough. TV's up. Got all my wires tucked away in the back. One power strip, that way I have a free outlet down there. Got the Apple TV here with this cool little mount that I found on Amazon, as well as the uh, box for the cable. So I can watch any live police chases on the news. All right, TV's up, looking good. Let's get this out the way. It smells so good in here. It's so fresh and so clean. <laughs> so what did I say, 45 and a quarter?
take this part, white or black. that we bought only had seven panels in there which throws everything off because now I'm missing one so back to Lowe's but I'm gonna finish this up first What are we taking today? So we are on our way up to Big Bear. We are taking the Subi today. We got a Ford. We got our boots. We got our helmets. We got this person. Wait, did you get new gloves? Yeah. Why did you get new gloves? I dropped a glove off the lift. <laughs> yep, she's that person. <laughs> Where yeah. are your boots at? They are in the bag. Okay. Boots, gloves, helmet, pants. I gotta go, I gotta grab a belt for my pants. Cause... It's a big bear. Now it's time for some fun times on the boarding times. That actually made zero sense, but hey, we made it up here. Look at all that snow. It's gonna be a fun day. Oh, but it is a good day here up at this here so mountain. Empty. Nobody's here. Nobody's here, it's beautiful. First run of the day. Got her strapping up. We're going down this way. Gonna be good. She already took somebody out. Poor person. Coming down that mountain. Almost did. Wish I got that on video though. That would have been, yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Back up the mountain again. Get some cool rails here, jumps here. Got Lady A here. There she is. Hey. Oh, she got this cool rail. She's gonna do that next. She's gonna do the jump next. Oh, 
new way we're going, which is a different way. Okay. Different trail. <laughs> Higher up. Lady Ace here doing awesome. So are you. Pausing or pausing because I don't want to eat shit. But it's so nice up here right now. It's so quiet. We just came down that big old hill right there. It was really fun. She took it like a pro. <laughs> that was fun. It was fun. Wait, is this the part we get off? Oh no, I think they got off here and they went up there. No, it's just the other one. Which one is, I don't know, you said get off at 9. Let me just Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, if we take off our boards, it'd be fine. All right, hang tight. You guys have to go all the way. Okay. Okay. I'll probably, I'll probably stop it for you to take off your gear. Okay. No fault. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Oh, it's still recording. You see what we just did? I hope we forgot what we just did. Okay. Oops. Oh, so we're supposed to go down there? We could jump. I'm fine with We could jump. We, we He's can, cranky today. We could jump, it's not bad. He hates his job. Every time. It's not that fun. We could jump, we just took off our feet. Big Bear from snowboarding. That was such a great day. There was maybe, what, like thousand people or something there maybe, or less? 500 people? I don't know, it looked like under 500 people. But there was no lines to get on the lifts or anything. The mountain was basically empty. We had it all to ourselves. On the drive up there, super fun. I didn't get to go 
banging through gears like I wanted to, you know, driving up the hill, but you had a bunch of traffic, you know how that goes. But on the way up there, I did notice that the car was pulling a little bit to the right, which makes me think it's because of those end links. So right now I'm just gonna get the car off the ground onto the ramps, which you didn't see in the last video, in the install video, because, you know, a lot of the stuff I cut out, nobody wants to see most of that. But yeah, I'm gonna put the car on the ramps and see if we could do something about those end links. I'll show you when we get under there. But hey, we got the garage door done. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna paint that part of the garage door. Those lines right there, the horizontal lines. Because, I don't know, to me, they just, they're faded white. And this part, and the foam is white, so looks pretty bad. You know, it's weird, I actually cleaned the garage door. Like the rails and everything, they were a little dirty and dusty and kind of oily. So yeah, we got some cleaning. I don't know if this, yeah, I don't know if this picks up on the GoPro, but pretty much hit all the bugs. Even some juicy ones. Gonna try out some Brake Buster, as well as some Car Pro Pearl, as well as some GFS. Wait, that's all GFS, yeah. So I'll some GFS if it arrives on time, but we'll see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so ooh, this is what you did not see in the install video. Well, I feel like I just did all of this for nothing because out. Because our end links are exactly the way they should be. Just in case I gave them a quick torque test and they are both still the same foot pounds as they were when we started. So let's put all this stuff away. That was kind of, why did I do that? Why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to myself? The other side too. You can't get any more perpendicular than that. I guess we're good for today. Let's get this car back on the ground. There's one thing I don't have to do today. Sweet! <sighs> it's a beautiful thing. What's up, Subi friends? Check out what, check out what my um, brother got me. That's an STI Cozy? Cozy. I don't know what these things are called, but it's pretty cool. And I got my usual bang, which by the way, are not good for you. But I'm drinking one anyways. I just realized that's probably really loud. I'm gonna have to edit that out. So we got some boxes and some stuff to put away. One of the things we picked up, Two of these, I don't know why. Well, I know why, because they're only $4.99. But I do have, I mean, I am running out of space on towels. So I have about, what, four of these now? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna put them, that drawer doesn't even close. We got our Car Pro Pearl for our tire dressing. Uh, we got our brake buster in, we got our engine cleaner. This is actually really good. This is great for your engine because it's safe on plastics as well as it degreases your engine. So we're gonna do a video on that soon. We got our oil filter. Yeah, so it's time to do our oil change. Oh yeah, they included a crush washer. No use for that, but hey, let's see. This is the one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Still good. We got our oil filter in. I actually ordered three more of these because they're at a really good price. $14 each and free shipping and you get a free crush washer. So hey, that's pretty awesome. We got our oil still from, I don't know when I ordered that. Um, box. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say this the other day. It is GSF. 
That is gentle snow foam. Cleaning foam that is pH neutral. I wonder what it smells like. It's yeah, it does smell like medicine a little bit. Like cherries, but yeah, it's a little bit like medicine. Oh, sorry, a credit pad, extra large. And you know what? I found this on the interwebs. Not at the place where I was gonna buy a foam, which happens to be Obsessed Garage. Mostly because the shipping was just too much. Because he's out in Florida, and I'm way across the country in California. Therefore, I gotta pay a lot more for shipping, and I didn't wanna do that. So I found a place on the interwebs where not only had the GSF, <laughs> I had to think about that, but also had the Incredipad in one store. What this is, just a big microfiber sponge. Oh man, that's super soft too. I can't wash my car because it's supposed to rain this weekend. But hey, we got a GSF. We got our, our Incredipad. There doesn't mind, we have Incrediboy. Incredipad. Okay, so we got this box. Since I'm walking over here, you might already know it's part of the pressure washer or something. Okay, so in this box, I'll link it below. White buckets, which are gonna replace my Harbor Freight Lowe's not so good looking buckets. I wanted something a little bit nicer than these, but you know, like the ones from Obsessed Garage. But those, once again, they were just out of my price range for right now. But I mean, if I could, I would 100% buy from Matt at Obsessed Garage. Come on, you gotta be smarter than the bucket here. <laughs> okay, good. It was recording all of that. All right, so these are the new buckets. And you know what? This is just a sticker that's on here, and we are gonna peel that off. All right, how's this look? No logos, no stickers, super clean. Yep, I dig it. We got our rinse bucket and we got a wash bucket. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's pretty soon I gotta repaint this floor. The fun part of having a photo studio on one side, which is why the floor is white. Yeah, photo studio on one side and a functional garage on the other side. But hey, anyways, yeah, I can't wait to start washing. Except I can't do it this weekend because it's supposed to rain. Just ruin all weekend plans. All right, you guys, that's all I got for this one. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Stay tuned for some wash and talks, some plain washing, some detailing, and a lot more installs. You can never go wrong with installs. Installs are just straight up fun. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. The second part of this test involves you. If you have been correctly installed as part of your stereo system, you will now lift the record up, turn it over, and replace it on the turntable with side two on the top. You will then proceed to listen to all of side two. If you do not do this, you have failed the test, and you have the worst hi-fi system in the world no matter how much money you spent.